ladies and gentlemen, lovers of the eerie and the uncanny welcome. As the shadows lengthen and night descends, we gather here in the realm of the unknown. Forget the safety of the mundane world and open your minds to the thrilling abyss of the supernatural. So, take a seat around our virtual campfire as we read you today's story. Today's chilling tale is called, I Moved to a Town Where Everyone is a Vampire, My Fight for Survival. Samuel Tanner was a man of simple needs, a decent job, a small home, and a quiet town. When he found a job opportunity in a place named Nightfall Hollow, he expected tranquility. He didn't expect a town full of vampires. He moved into a modest house on Elm Street. The first few days were quiet. Neighbors greeted him with polite smiles, their eyes shimmering under the dim streetlights with an eerie crimson hue. Their skin, pale as moonlight, glowed in the dusk. They were unusual. Yes, but Samuel chalked it up to small town quirks. Until the first night of the full moon, that's when things went awry. As the moon crested over the sleepy town, Samuel watched as his neighbors transformed, their mouths distending into fanged maws. Panic surged through him like an electric current. His heart pounded against his ribs as if yearning to escape. His blood seemed to roar in his ears, screaming at him to run. He barricaded himself in, clutching an old family crucifix. Through the darkened streets, he saw them roam. They moved with feline grace, their eyes a lurid red, their voices barely a whisper in the wind. His neighbors, now these demonic creatures, stalked the night like apex predators. Samuel was trapped trapped in a town full of vampires. His days became a terror-filled preparation for the nights of horror. He stocked up on garlic, crucifixes, and holy water, fortifying his home to withstand the night's terrors. As the days passed, his nights echoed with distant howls and the sickening sound of feeding. The night of the next full moon arrived faster than Samuel had hoped. Despite his preparations, fear crawled under his skin like a thousand spiders. He gripped a wooden stake, his knuckles white against the gnarled wood. The moon rose. The transformation began. His heart pounded in his chest like a funeral drum. From the darkness outside, a chorus of guttural hisses arose, and the siege began. The creatures prowled around his home, their hisses echoing in the silence of the night. They slammed against his barricaded door, shaking the very foundation of his abode. Then they breached. With a final roar, the door caved in. Samuel's world narrowed down to the crimson eyes staring back at him. The terror was palpable, thick enough to choke him. But in the face of death, a spark ignited within him. He would not go down without a fight. He lunged at the closest monster, thrusting his stake into its heart. It let out an ear-piercing scream as it crumbled into dust. Another leaped at him. Samuel rolled away, spraying it with holy water. It shrieked in agony, dissolving before his eyes. But there were too many. Exhaustion seeped into his bones, his defenses weakening with each passing second. Just as the situation seemed hopeless, a beam of dawn light pierced the horizon. The creatures hissed, retreating from the encroaching sunlight. They glanced at Samuel with seething hatred before dissolving into the growing light, leaving him alone. Daylight brought relief, but it was short-lived. The nightmare would resume at nightfall. Samuel couldn't sustain this forever. He needed a permanent solution. With newfound resolve, he researched, delving into ancient texts and dusty manuscripts. He learned of a ritual to cleanse a town of its vampiric curse. The ritual required the heart of the first vampire the town's mayor. Gathering his courage, Samuel planned his attack, slipping into the mayor's mansion under the cloak of night. He navigated through the gloom, his senses alert. Finally, in the heart of the mansion, he found the vampire mayor slumbering in his coffin. 
His chest rose and fell rhythmically, the only sign of his undead life. Summoning all his courage, Samuel drove the stake through the mayor's heart. A blood-curdling scream echoed through the mansion, followed by an eerie silence. The mayor's body disintegrated, leaving behind only a shriveled, blackened heart. Samuel performed the ritual under the waning moon. He chanted the ancient words, holding the vampire heart aloft. A wind began to swirl, pulling the heart from his hands and spiraling upwards. The heart exploded in a brilliant burst of light, bathing nightfall hollow in a radiant glow. As the glow faded, a tangible change swept through the town. The ominous air lifted, replaced by a peaceful silence. The next full moon night arrived and Samuel waited, his heart pounding in his chest. But the transformation never came. His neighbors remained human, their eyes no longer harboring the disturbing crimson glow. Nightfall Hollow was finally just an ordinary town. Samuel Tanner had moved to a town where everyone was a vampire, but with his courage and determination he'd survived. Now he finally had his simple needs met, a decent job, a small home, and a quiet town. A town that once belonged to vampires and now belonged to him. As our tale draws to a close and the embers of our campfire fade, We'd like to thank you for joining us on this chilling journey through the dark corners of the human psyche. If you found your heart racing and your spine tingling, we invite you to become part of our Haunting Happenings community by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Together, we'll delve even deeper into the macabre, the eerie and the downright terrifying. So, until next time, sleep tight. And remember, even in the darkest of nights, there are always more spooky tales to be told. See you soon, fellow thrill-seekers. <laughs>